for many in the Inland Northwest, simple tasks like reading a map or a restaurant menu is not so simple, but that's until now. KXLY Force Cherston Ramsing is live at the Lilac Services for the Blind. And Cherston, sounds like they're offering free service to help the seeing impaired in our area. Well, that's right. They're offering a service to restaurants and different hotels in the area to provide them with restaurant menus for the visually impaired in our area. Another really cool project that they're working on right now, partnering up with STA, is making these maps of the city and the bus routes available for folks that are visually impaired. And I'm joined this morning with Matthew Plank, who is the director here. And Matthew, you have a Braille machine over here, and um, those that are blind will need a book to go with them while they're on the bus to find out exactly where they're going. Talk to me about this machine and how it works. Well, it's over 100 years old, and basically the entire alphabet is made up of six dots. And it's, in manner of speaking, it's like Morse code. Um, it, you put push the correct set of dots, and then it becomes the alphabet, and you read like a book. However, it takes pages and pages of Braille to make one pages of type. For one reason is there's only one side because you have the bumps, so you don't have a two-sided page. And you have one of these over here. I'm just going to grab it really quick because this little pamphlet, Mike and Kali, for normal folks with um, their full eyesight, this translates to this entire booklet for the visually impaired. So really quite an undertaking here at the Lilac Services for the Blind. And coming up in just a half an hour, we'll show you exactly the roots and how they make a map like this. It's very fascinating. And 40,000 people in Eastern Washington will use a map like this. Yeah, Back what I you. think is the best is that it's going to give them their independence. Tristan, thank you.